Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys just a small little birthday book haul that I had. Um, last week was my birthday, and it was during the middle of the week, and you know, I'm dead of winter, so I just decided to go to Barnes and Noble and treat myself to a few new books. I really don't buy books very often, so you're probably not going to see a ton of book hauls on this channel, just because I really try to use my library and read as much as I can for free. But every once in a while, it's so much fun to go to the bookstore and just pick out some fresh, brand new books. So um, yeah, let's get started. So some of these I got on my birthday trip and, of, and I think one of them I ordered separately, so. First up is this version of David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. And this is the Penguin Classics edition with the black spine and the white stripe here. Not my favorite um, cover, but it did seem to be the one that was unabridged and had like a good size print to it. And I do like these editions in that they're, they're not super floppy, but they're easy to hold open when you're reading. So this was actually the pick for March in the Game of Tones book club that I'm doing with the online YouTube community. But I know I won't get to this this month and I won't have it finished in time to be ready for that so I am I bought it but I know I'm not gonna read it right now I'm just it's just gonna sit and look pretty on my shelves until I have a time where I can really dig into this so beautiful copy and looking forward to eventually getting to read this next we have I don't know if this is young adult I'm assuming it's young adult but this is called hooked hook by a C wise so this is a retelling of Peter Pan and Neverland and Captain Hook and everything. And my daughter and I are really into watching that show. It was on ABC a while ago, but it's called Once Upon a Time, which is a fairy tale retelling. And she she's 13 and she absolutely loves Peter Pan, especially that version in the, in the show. And he's actually a bad guy in that show. And Captain Hook is kind of the good guy. So we're both really loving that. And I actually purchased this for her. But when I started reading the reviews, I realized it might be a little bit too old for her. It might have too many adult themes in it. So I'm going to read it myself first before I let her read it. Um, but there's a book that supposedly came before this called Wendy Darling, which I definitely want to read before I get to this. But yeah, this was just, I saw it in Barnes & Noble. I had never heard of it. So I ended up picking it up and it sounded really good. And I love reading fairy tale retellings in general, but I really love fairy tale retellings where the villain is actually the good person and they have a, like this arc, this arc of redemption going on. I really enjoy those. So excited to eventually get to this one, but I really like the cover too. So that's Hooked. Then we have a novel by Neil Gaiman called The Ocean at the End of the Lane. And I have never read anything by Neil Gaiman before. Um, and this was on their buy one, get one 50% off table. So I thought I would definitely check it out. It's nice and short. I know Neil Gaiman wrote Coraline, I believe. And actually a couple weeks ago, my 10 year old and I watched that for the first time. That phenomenal movie. It was so good. I was so impressed by that. I'm like, I can't believe I've never seen this. It's so good. So excited to eventually pick up this book by Neil Gaiman and dive a little bit more into this author because I know he's pretty popular. So yeah, excited for that. Then I also ended up picking up a physical copy of Kindred by Octavia Butler, which was probably my favorite book last month of February. I absolutely love this book. I really, really enjoyed it. And I listened to it on audio um, the first time, which I loved. I highly recommend the audio version. But I did want to get a physical copy to have to read again. And um, I just, I really enjoyed and loved this book. So yeah, this was on the buy one, get one 50% off, ta off table as well. Then we also have Sappho, and this was translated by Mary Bernard, which I heard is the best translation of this. And Sappho is a Greek poet who was probably one of the most well-known poets of that time. And I don't know anything about this person or their poetry or anything, but it was something that I was interested in learning about and getting into. I've never really been into poetry, but I know that I probably haven't read the, the correct poetry for me so I am trying to find that I think I saw this recommended on somebody's channel and it was um, just it caught my eye and I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try so we have Sappho here translated by Mary Bernard 
So yeah, there's a book called If Not Winter by Ann Carson, which I'm going to check out and read after I'm done with this because I think that expands upon the Sappho and the poetry and everything. So yeah, hopefully I enjoy this. It might be over my head, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Next, I will admit I got this solely for the cover and I thought it was really beautiful. I love the illustration on the front. And this is called The Boy and the Dog, a novel by Sheisho House. And it's a Japanese, originally written in Japanese, translated. But I don't really know anything about this. Um, I, I wonder, I love dogs, so I don't know. That's probably going to help me enjoy it a lot more. So I don't really know anything about this. I'll read you the little description here. It says, one dog changes the life of everyone who takes him in on his journey to reunite with his first owner in this inspiring tribute to the bond between humans and dogs and to the life-affirming power of connection. Following a devastating earthquake and tsunami, a young man in Japan finds a stray dog outside a convenience store. The dog's tag says Timon and a name evocative to the guardian deity of the north. The man decides to keep Timon, becoming a, the first in a series of owners on the dog's five-year journey to find his beloved first owner, Huraku, a boy who has not spoken since the tsunami. An agent of fate, Timon is a gift to everyone who welcomes him into their life. At once heart-trenching and heartwarming, intimate and panoramic, suspenseful and luminous, and deep deepened in its emotion by the author's mastery of the gritty details and hard scrabble circumstances that define the lives of various people who take Timon in and on his journey. This best-selling, award-winning novel weaves a good, good feel-good tale of survival, resilience, and love beyond measure. So this looks really, really interesting, and I've never heard anything about it but hopefully I will enjoy it. And next we have Ghost Written by David Mitchell. And I really didn't know much about this at all, except I, one of the YouTubers I watched raved about it. She really, really loved it. I know this is a, I think it's a sci-fi and it follows maybe nine different points of views of different people. So it follows, let's see. I'll just read you a little bit about the back. In this ambitious and electrifying debut novel, David Mitchell engages us in a liter literary trek across the world of human experience through a mesmerizing series of linked narratives. At once, as alike and distinct as any two pinpoints on the globe, nine characters, a terrorist cult member in Okinawa, a record shop clerk in Tokyo, a money laundering British financer, financier in Hong Kong, an old Buddhist woman running a tea shack in China, a transmigrating non corpum entity seeking a human host in Mongolia, a gallery attendant Kumar thief in Petersburg, a drummer in London, a female physicist hiding from the CIA in Ireland, and a late night radio DJ in New York hurl towards a shared destiny of astonishing impact. So yes, that sounds really interesting to me. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Um, I do like a multiple point of view, but we'll see how it's told. I think it says the narrator is the non-human thing or entity, so that'll be really interesting. Yeah, so this is Ghost Written by David Mitchell. And I love the feel of the cover. This cover just has like such a nice texture and it's nice and floppy, so I really like that. And then since I've been in love with Ernest Hemingway this past month, I did end up purchasing this particular edition of The Sun Also Rises, and I have read this before and I really, really liked it. I don't really remember a ton about it. It was a while ago, so I wanted to get a new copy. I have like an old thrifted mass market copy, which I'm going to reread and like tab and annotate on the inside, but this is just a nice hardback copy and it, it has these beautiful illustrations without it within the book which are really nice. Um, it just, it has these beautiful glossy pages. I don't know, I just really thought this edition was cool. So I ended up picking this up as a treat as well. And then lastly, I picked up two more Barnes and Noble children's hardback classics for my children's collection that I have going. So we have Greek Myths, um, and this is a wonder book for girls and boys and non-binary <laughs> but anyway this is just a beautiful copy it has medusa on the front and this beautiful gold um, green foiling that shows the different um, snakes around her head 
And then here's a look at what the spine looks like. And I love how these books look all lined up on a shelf. They're just gorgeous. And then the back of the book has the, more of this green foiling. And then they always have a quote from the back, which you can see there. Um, this particular version has silver edges. They all have either silver or gold edges usually. And then we have a look at the end pages, which are beautiful. And then it does have a little bit of illustration throughout. Not those nice plates that we usually see, but yeah, just a little bit of illustration throughout. So I, I absolutely love collecting these. And they always come with a nice ribbon, like bookmark placeholder. So that is the Greek myths. And these were nice because these were all buy one, get one free or buy one, get one 50% off. So that was fun. And this one is called A Journey to the Center of the Earth. So this one's really cool. It has some silver foiling within the rocks and the um, dinosaurs and the title. So here's a closer look at that. By Jewel, This is by Jules Verne. And then we have the spine. So these are both orange, as you can see, and this is just kind of an idea of what they look like together. I'll have to do a class, um, like a little bookshelf tour of these at some point. And then here's the quote on the back of this book. Cover is the same. This one has gold edges that you can see there. And then here's a look at the end pages. This one has more illustration, I think, than the other one. So it has these larger illustrations here. And you can see these are like ink drawings, beautiful. I think I'm caught up with everything that I want from this collection as far as what's currently out. So yeah, I think that's that'll be it for this. I wanna work a little bit on the adult books, the adult novels that are in this particular edition. And what, the reason why I like these so much and I actually prefer them over the Penguin Cloth Bound Classics is because I think the covers are really beautiful as well as the spines. I just like the, the more colorful and busy editions. And then the experience of reading these is really nice because they stay open nice and wide. And that is one thing that I don't really like about the Penguin Cloth Bounds is that they seem more tightly bound. So they're like, when you open them, you, it like takes a lot of pressure to keep them open, which is not really a fun reading experience for me personally. So I do prefer, these are my favorite classics hardbound editions that I prefer to collect at, the, at this point at least. So that wraps it up, you guys, for my uh, hopeful TBR coming up and my, my book haul. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.